multi-effect caustic recovery plant. Functioning of caustic recovery plant to gain profit from effluent. Procedure for applying vacuum in caustic recovery plant. Ensure that all the valves open to atmosphere, such as drain valves, sample valves, pump discharge lines open to atmosphere are kept closed. Open all the vent valves, steam bypass valves for retaining vacuum. Vacuum of around 26 inches is attained within 30 to 40 minutes under normal circumstances. This vacuum is produced by a water ring vacuum pump connected to the condensers. The air removal from the system is decisive for the efficient working of the evaporator. Process Description Wash liquor is fed to feed tank through gyro screen filter to remove the suspended impurities. As we start the steam slowly and set temperature of heater 1 achieved, feed pump will start automatically. The feed flows through the series of preheaters. The preheated feed is taken to the first effect. The feed is regulated with help of actuator operated valves and PLC operated level sensing devices which regulate the feed to desirable level ensuring minimum condensate contamination. The feed gets heated and flashes in the vessel due to lower pressure. Supplied steam gets condensed by transferring heat and flashed into the condensate flash tank. Preheaters use the flash vapors of the hot condensate to preheat the feed close to the boiling point, thereby saving steam. The vapors generated by flashing of the liquid is taken to the next effect due to the lower pressure and used for evaporation in the next stage. The liquid gets transferred from one effect to another on account of the pressure difference and the whole process is repeated in successive stages. The evaporation rates are adjusted in each stage in such a fashion that the desired concentration is achieved in the last stage. To achieve condensation, supply water at ambient temperature to the condensers. The condensers are used to condense vapors in last stage of the evaporator to maintain the required vacuum in the system. During the process, the sensible heat to the liquid is used to heat up the water around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius, which comes to you free of cost, saving a lot of steam. On the shell side, the vapors get condensed, producing vapor condensate. This condensate is flashed into the next effect, thereby preheating the feed. The condensate, usually with a TDS of not above 200 ppm, can be used in the unit based on the requirement. From the last stage, the product pump pumps the concentrated product to product storage tank or lye purification system only after attaining desired concentration. Lye Purification System Concentrated product is fed into the lye purification system to remove the impurities like starch or size and color. This is achieved by reacting recovered caustic with hydrogen peroxide, which is a strong oxidizing agent. 
This reaction separates heavy and lighter impurities which are removed from the bottom and top ends of the lye purifier respectively. Pure caustic is transferred to the holding tank from where it is pumped to process with PLC operated level sensing devices.